Hello friends, welcome to Programming Knowledge. My name is Dujain and let's start with the project creation. So first of all open terminal or command prompt if you are on a Windows machine. To initiate a new Expo Minute project just type Expo in it and then project name let's say shopping app IT and press enter and create a blank project. So I already done that. So open your project on any visual studio code or any text editor of your choice and also open the simulator here I have iOS simulator because I'm using a Mac machine but if you are on Windows machine you can also open the Android emulator so the first file that will uh, render onto the screen when we start the app uh, will be app.js file so open terminal and to start the project just type npm start now uh, you can press a to open android simulator and press i for ios simulator let me press i And it will uh, try to run the app on the simulator that we have already opened. Okay, so our app is running let me change this text to hello world and you can see okay so let's start by creating a custom component called shopping item so first of all create a new folder called components in this folder let's create a file name shopping item dot js here i will be using es7 code snippet let me save this and we can remove this import shopping item now we can see shopping item over here let me remove this one as well so here if you are uh, seeing these on a iOS simulator you can use safe area view let me just say this now it's fine okay on shopping item First of all, shopping item will consist of uh, three components. The first one will be the checked icon. Then we will have a text shopping test. And then we have a delete button. Okay, so for the checked icon, just open your browser. And search for expo vector icons here click on this you can search for any icon we want a checked icon so let me use this one first of all you need to import okay now you can use this let me save this as you can see we have our checked icon over here then we have a text so let's create a text component um, let's name it braille okay and delete button 
search for delete let us use this one we also need to import material icons for that copy this one save this okay so we have our checked icon we have our text and we have a delete in view let's provide styling let's say container here we put this in a pressable because we want to do something when user touch it okay and also the delete one Yes, um, text. Let's say title. First of all, container. Then title. Now we want these to be in the same row. So for that let's say flex direction row okay and let's do background color to see how much page uh, it occupies it's red okay now we want uh, all of three to be end of the screen the delete button we want right of the screen the check box uh, left of the screen and the bread will occupy the rest of the space for that title we can do flex one okay and in container we can do justify content space between okay let's apply some padding let's again okay it's good in the title we can do margin left We can also do align items. Center. Okay. So let's also provide a width. Let's say 90%. And align self to center. We center it also provide some border radius let's say 5 make it 10 okay it's good the background color we can provide light gray let's say okay it's look it looks good we can increase the font size let's say 17 and we can increase the font size as well let's say 500 okay it's good so our shopping item is ready as of now because uh, when we connect it to the firebase user can also check and check it so we need to uh, change this icon based on a state but we will look into that in later part of the video so for now it's good so if we go back to our app.js and let's just copy this and paste it multiple, multiple times just to see how it will look when we have multiple items in our list. Okay, so we can see one problem over here. We also need to provide some margin vertical. Let's set 10. Okay, it's good. So if we again copy this, paste in. So this is how our list will look uh, when we 
uh, use flat list component to render the multiple items present in our Firestore database. So that's it for this video. This is how you can create a custom component and use this in app.js. You can create a separate file for that and you can do all the styling and designing in this component. And you just need to import this component over app in app.js file and use it as if it is built in component so in our next video we will try to do the heading part we will try to render the heading number of items date etc so thanks for watching this